Izati binti Wazi. I'm going to present about the introduction of pasta and the chosen company. Basically, pasta is a kind of food produced from an unleavened dough of wheat flour combined with water or eggs, shaped into sheets or various forms. It is cooked by baking or boiling. Rice flour or legumes like beans or lentils are occasionally substituted for wheat flour to achieve a unique taste and texture or as a gluten-free option. Marco Polo brought pasta to Italy after he voyaged the Far East in the late 13th century. Pasta may be traced back to the 4th century BC when an Etruscan tomb displayed a group of people preparing pasta. As early as 300 BC, the Chinese were producing a noodle-like meal. According to Greek mythology, the Greek deity Vulcan built a machine that made dough strings, which became the first spaghetti. The pasta arrived in the United States thanks to the English who discovered it while traveling in Italy. Next, for the chosen company of pasta, I choose San Remo. For decades, San Remo has been a beloved part of family's life, and the packaging and advertising have a long and illustrious history. Since its founding in 1936 by Luigi Crotti, San Remo has embodied the culture and heritage of pasta manufacturing in Austria. San Remo maintains offices and distribution centers in all Australia and New Zealand's major cities and export to 35 countries worldwide. San Remo hires producers to produce its top quality during wet, ensuring that the grain meets the company's high standards. This makes high quality pasta and guarantees that the integrity of the product is maintained. San Remo now provides a wide selection of pasta and sauce products and a variety of la pasta which is pasta and sauce side dishes. For flow of pasta manufacturing have six steps which is the step one is mix the semolina and water for 5 to 10 seconds. Semolina is whisked into a high power pre-mixer. Step two the dough is removed from the pre-mixer and placed in an open air first plate mixer. Then, we go to the step number 3, which is the dough is placed in a vacuum blade mixer. The mixer is now prepared to pass through the brass mold. For the step number 4, to produce various types of pasta, the mixture must be worked a little more. In order for it to have the necessary from the dough is passed through the roller which gave it the proper thickness. Besides, for step number 5, under pressure, the dough is pumped into the brass mold. A rotating blade machine can cut around 12,000 rotinis every minute or 720,000 per hour. Because the dough is still very new, the rotinis are soft and will dry slightly on the dish. And for lasagna, the dough is passed through the brass mold and 107cm long strips for a dough are placed on stick to dry at 65 degrees. They dry vertically in order to keep the flat form. After drying for 15 hours, Trim the strip into 4 25cm pieces. They slice the dry lasagna with scissors using a, a full mold. Next, the mold named Crasta di Gelo can cut 7,500 for a minute and 450,000 for an hour. The width of the dough sheets is 61cm. Produce a continuous trim. Heads to the conveyors to dry. Butterfly and fluffy leaves need to be dried all the way through the dryer. And finally, they use a spaghetti mold for make a spaghetti. Spaghetti dried vertically as well. 
a specialized machine fits the spaghetti into a cutting table and cuts it to the appropriate length. For the final step, which is step number 6, all the pasta are ready to package. My name is Yusra. I will explain step taken by Sanremo Pasta to improve productivity. The white machine is positioned horizontally to save space in the process. The company uses a high-touch machine that fits the semolina into a high-speed mixture that is aggressively mixed with water, but it can save time costs reducing the number of workers and defects. Number 2. The first blade mixer is placed beneath the pre-mixer to ensure that no dough is lost and reduce the labor workforce. The dough goes into a vacuum blade mixer which looks like half lid that covers the mixture to ensure that the toast butter does not come out. Using our machine mixer blender helps to save a cost on hiring the cleaning engine to clean up the mist generated by the machine. Number 3 company use rotated blade machine is since cutting them equally and quickly that can reduce the number of rejections. Number 4 on the shelf lasagna and spaghetti are drying vertically but they have a lot of space in the factory. Number 5. The factory uses scissors to trim the dough pieces into uniform lengths. It can save time and money in this organization. Number 6. To get thickness and generate a different types of pasta, the dough is rolled through the roller and to make pasta in the shape of butterflies. The workers does not need to use their energy by making a shape of butterfly by their own hands. Then, pasta is placed on a conveyor in rapid movement to ensure rapid drying process. Lastly, the spaghetti was dried and cut into suitable lengths before being packed into the bag based on the quantity determined by computers without any issues that could result in excessive or insufficient baking. Next, there are 5 possible costs that we can find for the whole production of pasta. First is warehouse rental. Rent a larger warehouse to ensure stock control management becomes more efficient and effective which is turn can provide many benefits such as the lack of stock can be avoided and the needs of customer can be met. Second is wages. Salaries payable to employees who manage warehouses for daycare. Next is electricity cost. These are costs relating to lighting and general electricity. Next is insurance, license and permits. Business need insurance in order to operate safely and lawfully. Business insurance protect your company's financial well-being in the event of a covered loss. Last but not least is maintenance costs. The costs that are directly linked to the warehouse and on the other hand, the interest cost for the capital tied up in the inventory. New product without any machine. Hmm, how could it be? So here is our recommendation. We always see the yellowish pasta for many generations. In the modern world, people prefer and interesting things. So the production of rainbow pasta is one of the products that can be produced by the company. It not only appeals to children, also adults, consisting of food hunters, bloggers, and parents who are looking for food alternative for their picky children. Rather than choosing to make a finished product, it is better to package the samolina as instant flour. It is packed with simple guidelines for consumer to make it turn to a dough and into the shape that they want. It does need to go through many process and does need new equipment to pack. For the low income group of those who want to save, this fast food is the main choice for most people because it is cheap. Just like instant noodle, 
with that they can save their money for other users buying fast food every day is profitable because of its low cost as well as it has many benefits it can turn in many flavors such as the traditional one like carbonara or putanesca or the modern can be sambal or laksa joho my name is Norlidia Azwin Binti Ino and I will present the recommendation for Pasta Factory and also the conclusion. The best recommendation is to upgrade existing technology and processing machine. Previously, Pasta Processing Plant used a variety of machines such as pre-mixer, first blood mixer and vacuum blood mixer as well as mounting machine that were all different or in other words, each type of pasta use a different machine. This has caused a significant expenditure of money, energy and time as well as waste. However, it can be overcome by using machine with multiple functions and advanced technology, such as a pre-mixer machine with a three main function, a first blood mixer and a vacuum blood mixer. Holding machine that previously used different machine can be adjusted in shape according to suitability by using only one machine. Advance in pasta processing technology can reduce waste while also avoiding the risk that occur as a result of minor error in the machine. New product can also release in dealing with customer preference. Indirectly, pasta processing factory can meet the higher demand for pasta without incurring high processing costs and employment as well as processing pasta in a short period of time. Conclusion for this video is, pasta processing is not as simple and quick as cooking and preparing it. With the passage of time and technological advancement, pasta factories can now fulfill the demand and need of customer. Pasta with variation in pattern, type, and specialties can entice consumer to purchase pasta.